the game. It's a red skin. Yeah, what's good y'all? It's your boy Frankie and welcome to the Soul by Soul YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's special video, whether it's your first time checking us out or you've been a loyal one since day one. Before we get into today's video, please do us a solid and hit the like button on this video so this video can get out to more viewers like you. And after you hit that like button, click on the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that's happening here at Soul by Soul. For those who are new to the channel, Soul by Soul dives deep into everything sneakers, from reviews to commentary on the latest in the culture. Me and my boy Mike started this journey out almost one year ago, and we've been having a blast getting to talk sneakers with y'all and give our own bit of flavor to the culture. So today we're here to talk about the Ama Manier Air Jordan 1 Airness. Now, Ama Manier holds a special place in my heart. Not only did they come out with one of the best sneakers of 2021 in the Ama Manier Air Jordan 3 raised by women, but our review of that sneaker really changed the trajectory of this channel. Outside of that, Ama Manier does so much for the culture and the community that it really is great to see them be able to put their touch on different Nike silhouettes over the years. But now they've been able to take their creative ingenuity and put it on the fabled Air Jordan 1 high. And just like with the Air Jordan 3s, many are talking about how the sneaker could be sneaker of the year. So let's not wait any longer. Let's dive right into every detail of the Ama Manier Air Jordan 1. Before we get into the sneaker, we've got to talk about the box the Ama Manier Air Jordan 1 came in because it's not like your traditional Air Jordan 1 box. Right off the bat, you can see that the shoe box is in a translucent encasing that if you were fortunate enough to cop the Air Jordan 3s, it looks very familiar to you. The Ama Manier signature logo is all around the encasing that holds the shoe box. When you pull the shoe box out of the encasing, you can see the silhouette, if you will, of the box follows the traditional look and feel of your standard Air Jordan 1 box. But this box is in a sale kind of off-white color with a Nike swoosh logo in a burgundy tone and Ama Manier written in burgundy on the top of the lid. Instead of the typical Nike swoosh logo beneath the lid of the box, we see the Air Jordan Wings logo in burgundy with Ama Manier written in burgundy beneath it on both sides of the length of the box. On the left side of the box where the Nike swoosh and 1985 Air Jordan 1 would traditionally be, we instead see the singular Ama Manier logo in burgundy and a straight burgundy line with no text written on it. And then on the right side of the box where the description of the shoe and sizing sits, a singular Ama Manier logo sits on the far side instead of the tags sitting on top of the Nike swoosh logo as is traditional on Air Jordan 1 boxes. When you open the box and flip the lid, you see a mauve image of the fabled Jumpman Dunk in a backdrop of Chicago with the Jumpman logo, Ama Manier, and the singular Ama Manier logo in white. And once you are done awing at the lid, you can see the paper that's used is the same paper that is used in the Ama Manier Air Jordan 3 raised by women box. So with the box out of the way, let's dive right into the shoe. Right off the bat, we have to talk about the upper of this shoe as just like the box, it's not your standard leather or tumbled leather used on this particular Air Jordan 1. The upper is comprised of a sail looking crack leather that when you look at it, gives you this feeling of like what concrete looks like. James Whitner, owner of the Whitaker Group, which heads up Ama Manier, spoke about how the design team was initially going to go for a tumbled leather look, but they decided they wanted to push the boundaries a bit more and settled upon cracked leather, which does make sense when it connects to the overall story being told with this sneaker. The Ama Manier Air Jordan 1 airness was matched up with the symbolism of the rose that grew from concrete so it makes sense that they wanted the shoe to look and feel concrete like and so the crack leather not only provides that look and feel but it even adds another layer of luxury to the Air Jordan 1 because it's not your standard leather material but a more refined material that yes while it does have light shedding to it provides a better age experience for the shoe itself the toe and toe box both have the crack leather with the toe box being perforated to allow for breathability in the sneaker going up the shoe to the lace guard and tongue you can see a pair of burgundy laces are featured on the shoe and the tongue features the nike air logo in a burgundy tone 
and below it, Ama Manier is written out in script with an off-white background. The laces also come in a sail colorway if you'd like to replace the burgundy laces or do a mix match. And both laces feature silver aglets that are metal-like and have Ama Manier written on them in script, which I thought is a dope detail. Moving around the upper toward the swoosh, you can see the swoosh is in a burgundy color with a snakeskin-like pattern. It doesn't feel like actual snakeskin and more synthetic-like, but it provides a nice complement to the cracked leather material featured on this shoe. Moving up to the heel and collar of the shoe, you can see the Air Jordan Wings logo is in a burgundy tone, which is a reverse of what it looks like on the box, and the snakeskin material appears again on the collar of the shoe. The flap of the upper is not folded as you can see, and that's by purposeful design. As Whitner mentioned, he himself isn't a quote, folded kind of guy, but he also wanted to give people more options on how to wear this sneaker. In addition to that, just like they did with the tab on the heel of the Air Jordan 3 raised by women, they used the flap to have a message featured on both sneakers, this time from his airness himself. On the left shoe, you've got a Michael Jordan quote that reads, quote, you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. And on the right shoe, you've got a quote that reads, quote, learning's a gift even when pain is your teacher. Both quotes are on the lateral side of each shoe. And what's even cooler is that the signature of Michael Jordan is featured on both, which is really cool and something you can boast about with this shoe in particular by saying, hey, I got MJ's autograph right here. Continuing to the inside of the shoe, you've got this quilted pattern in the sock liner, which is another element that is brought from the Ama Manier Air Jordan 3s and gives it an extra design feel. And on the sole of both shoes, you can see that there is a patch logo stitched in that reads Airness by Ama Manier. It's a hidden detail, but one that I think is fire and reminds me of like high-end piece of clothing, like a suit from a top tier brand. But in this scenario, it's a sneaker. Going to the heel of the shoe, you can see the sail crack leather accented by the burgundy hits from the swoosh working its way around the heel. The midsole is in this vintage age look that seems to be what would happen if you mixed a bit of the burgundy color with this sail color, which I think is a really nice touch. And finally, the outsole of the shoe is in a burgundy color and follows the traditional outsole of the Air Jordan 1. So if y'all allow me, I'm gonna sound like a broken record here. It's the details. It's the details with this one, man. I mean, it's like I said, Ama Manier spares no stone unturned when it comes to details and the Air Jordan 1 airness is no different. I really love what James Whitner had to say about the burgundy, about the reason behind having the burgundy color with this sneaker and it kind of representing blood, you know, like how, you know, everyone in the community, like that's blood, like that's my blood to me or family. I really love the luxury details that come with this. I am a fan of this cracked leather. I know that, you know, as I'm holding it, sure that like some shedding is happening, it might not happen as I walk, but I mean, I think that's just, just such, such a cool detail. I love this sneaker. I love it so much. Um, I, I don't know <laughs> when it comes to how it compares to the Air Jordan 3. Uh, maybe we'll have to do a separate video on that. Uh, do a little bit comparison, little uh, 1v1 if you will. Both sneakers are fire. Um, and this is definitely one of the best Air Jordan 1 highs to come out this year for sure. So that's our review of the Ama Manier Air Jordan 1 Airness. What do y'all think of this shoe? Do you think it's the best sneaker of 2021? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And lastly, head on over to Instagram and give us a follow at underscore soul X soul. Thank you all for tuning in today's video. The on the feed is on its way. Stay tuned for what's next.